Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome everyone back to another Black Ops 3 video. Today, I've got you guys another tips and tricks video uh, within BO3. And today, we are going to be looking at some Black Ops 3 tips and tricks on how to stay alive and die less within Black Ops 3. As you guys know, this game is very fast paced because unlike Advanced Warfare and of course Ghosts, the maps were enormously big. And when it comes down to Black Ops 3, it's even smaller than both games. And because um, a lot of people using some machine guns, assault rifles, all that type of stuff. It literally is chaos and you'll end up dying a lot. So if you do enjoy today's video, be sure to smash that like button down below and let's head into the tip. So the first tip I always give anyone uh, that wants to stay alive, get a high streak, want to win gunfights, you've got to use a weapon that you like and you enjoy. If you use the Shiva, use the M8 and you've never used that before, don't have any attachments, you're obviously going to go bad. And that's why I say, if you use the KN44 a lot, you know you're good with it, use the weapon. Why not go ahead? But obviously, if you want to use another weapon over time, let's say the M8, you're obviously going to have to play a lot of games with that. And a lot of people do get frustrated when they die. That's because you haven't played enough games with the weapon. And more or less, you need to do that in order to become better with the weapon. That's why I always say use a gun that you're comfortable with, because obviously, you're more or less going to get more kills because you know how it works. Let's turn over into tip number two. This doesn't necessarily apply to players that are quite good. But if you're literally struggling, you're dying all the time you're losing gunfights and you know what the enemy just somehow seems to find you all the time use a suppressor I'm pretty much sure I'm using a suppressor in this gameplay and more or less what a suppressor is gonna allow you to do is obviously not be seen on the minimap and doing that will allow you to more or less flank the enemies and kill a bunch of them without them knowing your position but you do have to keep in mind even though you're using a suppressor the sound is quite loud but if you're a good player overall you don't necessarily need a suppressor on some way weapons it's not that needed but in terms of black ops 3 i don't really see a damage reduction in a suppressor anyway so i thought why not go ahead go ahead and use it because it's obviously going to keep you off the map and it is definitely going to help you out the next tip i'm going to give you guys i gave uh you guys this tip last year within advanced warfare more specifically this year and that is if you want to stay alive stick to the ground don't boost jump everywhere like we did last year in advanced warfare because that was something new i still see a lot of players do it now and they always end up dying if you stick to the ground, you pre-aim, you just shoot people and you don't literally boost jump every two seconds, you're not going to die. If you wall run all the time, like every game, you're going to die because people are going to see you wall running. I kill so many people wall running and me myself, I hate wall running in this game because I always die from it. If you stick on the ground, you avoid wall running at certain times within the maps or the games, you're not going to die that much just because you won't be seen and obviously just jumping around is going to give you uh, where your position on the map unless you you do have blast suppressor but all in all you're going to be easily seen and sticking on the ground is definitely going to help you out let's head over into tip number four now this goes with tip number three and that is to use a few perks that could actually help you guys so more or less you don't have to have all of these in a class but if you use one or two of these these are drastically going to improve uh your kd ratio and more or less help you stay alive the first thing is use ghosts now i always use ghosts in this game because every person has a uav ghost is going to keep you off the radar and that's going to be very crucial if you you want to stay alive and die less the next thing is to use six cents now i'll use this for a while but i did replace it with ghost if you use them two together that's absolutely brilliant what six cents allows you to do is if there's a enemy that is quite close it will just tell you on the minimap where they are and it tells them if they're upstairs downstairs all that type of stuff as well which will definitely help you out the next one is the perk fast hands you've got to have this on every single class without this you're going to be losing gunfights you're going to be dying a bunch and what this is going to allow you to do is obviously aim down the sights faster. I can't tell you guys enough. All the weapons in this game melt people super quick and easy. But if you use fast hands, you'll get that little bit advantage over your enemy when you aim in faster and always use that. I see a lot of people that don't use it and they always complain about dying. Use that perk. I can't explain how crucial it is enough. The next thing is to use dead silence and awareness together or you can use them by the yourself. What dead silence is going to allow you to do is if someone has a headset on the other team, they're not going to hear your footsteps so they won't know if you're coming around a corner and obviously awareness is going to allow you to hear people's footsteps but if you combine them both you can hear people's footsteps and you can obviously be silent at the same time uh, making sure you can hear enemies even quicker and easier before they come to you which is always awesome 
Heading over into tip number five, I've got to say this heaps because some people don't even do it. I know most people do it, but to use a UAV, you have got to use a UAV in this game. That is the number one score streak I recommend for anyone that wants to do good in this game. You've got to use it. Why you want to use it? Obviously, you'll be able to see people on the minimap. And if you're in a party with people and you all have UAVs coming up every two, three, one minute or whatever, you're basically going to be seeing the enemies wherever you go and it will literally help you stay alive. But keep in mind, not everyone uses ghosts in this game but if you do want to stay alive use ghost uh, but more or less no one really uses ghost and you'll be able to see everyone on the map that's why i said use ghost back in tip number four and if you use a uav and ghost you're going to be seeing everyone and if someone uses a uav on you when you have ghosts no one can see and basically it works in each other's favor which is awesome so use a uav it'll help you see enemies and you will know they're coming to you before they even kill you which is obviously awesome moving over to tip number six what I see a lot of people do in this game is rush down the middle. Never ever do that in Call of Duty unless you're super confident you're going to kill uh, the person in the middle. As you can tell in the gameplay, I never go in the middle that much. The only time I go in the middle is that if I know my teammates are covering me, they're behind me, and I know what I'm doing. Once you get to better at this game and you don't die that much, you can rush the middle of the map, but still, you will still die even easier. But the best thing to do is stick to the sides of the map, flank around, and if you know there's no one coming down the middle, you can go down there. Why not? But basically, Basically, you want to stick to the sides, not rush down the middle because every man and their dog is down the middle uh, pretty much in each game because the maps are small. But if you can literally just flank around the enemies, you can kill them because they're in the middle of the map and you'll pretty much get, uh, you pretty much kill them from behind, which is always good. So stick to the sides, don't rush down through the middle. It will help you stay alive and obviously keep your KD up because you're not running down through the middle all the time, dying. Let your teammates stay in the middle while you flank around and then you can obviously spawn trap the enemy or you can obviously know where the spawns are coming from. So tip number six, stay it to the sides and you'll pretty much stay alive. Moving over to tip number seven. Now this one I tell a lot of people and this also kind of stays with tip number six as well. It pretty much complements each other is to let the enemy come to you. Don't always necessarily need to rush out. You can camp, you can let the enemy come to you and you can obviously change up your position here and there. But usually what I do is I don't tend to rush out too much unless I know for a fact I'm gonna win the gunfights. Usually I let the enemies come to me around corners. Therefore you don't have to re in a gunfight every two seconds of your life and you pretty much get an easy kill. So always let the enemy come to you, never always come to them and it will help them a lot. Let's head over to the last tip within the video and that is to play a lot. Practice makes perfect guys. Like YouTubers you see, they go ahead and get high kill streaks, high kills like me and other YouTubers in the community. That's basically because we've been playing this game for years. We know all the tips on how to stay alive and basically if you follow all of this and you practice it a lot and you basically play the game a ton, you're going to be beasting and feasting. So you're basically just going to be staying alive. You're going to be able to do anything. You just have to play a lot. Practice makes perfect and doing that will help you stay alive and obviously get more kills. So guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Hopefully you've all enjoyed and I will catch you guys later. Globe out.